Hello class 12, uh, I am your Aishwarya ma'am and today we are going to start the very first poem of your main textbook that is my mother at 66 written by Kamala Das. Now this poem is a very sensitive poem. It is full of feelings and it is a poignant poem rich with the themes of aging, relationship, mother-daughter relationship, uncertainty, separation and death. This is a confessional poem, an autobiographical poem. What do you mean by a confessional poem? What is confession? When we say in front of our feelings or our guilt, we accept certain things. In this poem also, our poet Kamla Das will accept her deepest fears related to her aging mother. This poem doesn't follow any such rhythmic pattern. It directly evokes from her heart. Like our Wordsworth said, poetry is the spontaneous outburst of feelings. This poem enunciates the fact. It also captures the poetesses train of thought as she goes away from her house to Kochi airport to leave for her workplace. Her mother escorts her and while she was in that journey she looks at her mother who was aging, dull and pale and that insecurity, apprehensions whether to see her mother again or not when she comes back revolves within her mind so the main thing in this uh, is that it follows a single line of thought and this poem is rich in imagery so i will start reciting the poem and at the same time describe to you line by line so let's read it Driving from my parents' home to Kochi last Friday morning, I saw my mother beside me. How? Doze, open-mouthed, her face ashen like that of a corpse, and realized with pain that she was as old as she looked but soon put that thought away and looked out at young trees printing the merry children spilling out of their homes so you notice as the poem begins it is just the first 14 lines as the poem begins the poet uses a verb driving okay so this gives the poem a role of action it starts with a continuous tense the poet was driving from her parents home to Cochin airport while inside the car she suddenly looked at her mother and she found her mother sleeping beside her and she was all dozing off like this and with a mouth open and and the poet suddenly felt after looking at her mother the similarity to a dead body to a corpse it gave her an impression that her mother was waning aging day by day her infirmities due to the age mother's face resembled a pale face of a dead body when it lacks the color the rush of the blood and the particular sight disturbs her and she tries to put all the thoughts away and looks outside the car and what she sees outside is appropriately in contrast to the image inside what does she, what does she sees, uh, see outside 
she sees the trees that are sprinting sprinting means a moving action the trees are not sprinting but since the car was moving it seemed that the trees were moving in the opposite direction so the trees which resembles greenery youth and sprinting is such an action which resembles energy vivacity so she could find the outer world just separated by a window pane of the car in stark comparison to what her mother was at that time her mother was dull pale aging weak while the imagery outside is totally opposite the trees were all green and full of color and they the trees resembled as if they were running and he found that the children were spilling so what what do you mean by spilling spilling is when we put some liquid out of a container so here the children are gushing out from their home from any place out of energy and the children resembled childhood just the beginning of life full of energy gushing out brimming with energy so she looked at the outside which was in stark comparison contrast to the image inside now let us see to the next part of the poem but after the airport's security check standing a few yards away i looked again at her sorry i looked again at her when pale as a late winter's moon and felt that old familiar ache my childhood's fear but all i said was see you soon amma all i did was smile and smile and smile so finally she reached her destination the kochi airport and she checked in through the security check her mother was not allowed inside she was standing outside she looked at her mother already she was overburdened with painful feelings and emotions so what did she see she saw her mother again waiting to bid her goodbye and this time she found her mother's look similar to a winter's moon winter is a season that marks the end of the year winter is a season that marks death of a year so she compares her mother's appearance to a pale pale means a very dull fragile winter signifies death moon is a feminine uh, you know feminine thing always associated with something feminine so she, her mother resembles a pale winter's moon she compares her aged mother to a pale winter moon and suddenly after seeing her mother the old familiar thought came back what is the old familiar thought the familiar thought that she always had was the fear of losing her mother whom she loved a lot and that encompasses the mother daughter relationship how she loved her mother and how it always tormented her right from the childhood what will happen if i lose my mother and that thought right away came to her mind as she was leaving she was having apprehensions whether she will be able to see her mother again or not and then despite being deeply thoughtful of her mother's present and future the speaker can not stop herself from going away from her mother nor she could stop her mother from going away from her temporarily or eternally due to the you know grasp of death the inevitable end that will come when it has to come this parting is made more sensational more poignant to the fact that 
the speaker the poet hopes to see her mother again and but again at the same time she fears that i might not see my mother again so this contrasting thoughts made the separation more and more poignant the full poem is full of emotions love hope longing nostalgia fear and a sense of helplessness of the human beings at the face of death finally what could she do she could only smile because we don't have our hands over destiny god is the director and we are all mere actors you remember the seven ages of man so what are the uh, literary devices that are used in the poem first is contrast you can see contrasting images contrasting thoughts the image of her mother and the trees and the children are contrasting her thoughts to see her mother again but at the same time fearing that she will not see her again is a contrast second is personification young trees printing third is simile she compares her mother to a dead body she compares her mother's look to a winter's moon and then there is repetition at the last smile and smile and smile and this poem is written in a free verse and the themes are i have told you in the beginning aging mother daughter relationship love bonding separation death okay students hope you understood uh, today's poem and you can uh, go through the pdf of the study materials i'll be providing you that and before ending i would uh, like to say that right now very hard times are going on throughout our world so in any case you are going out of your home for any emergency purpose do not forget to wear a mask like uh, i am doing right now do not forget to wear this mask and move out of your house okay stay safe stay hygienic and let us fight together best of luck students bye bye